Monday Night Football on NBC, Jets, Steelers. I'm going to let you know how to play this game and make some money in just a moment. This is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV. And we're breaking down your prime time national TV matchup Sunday night, 820 Eastern on NBC. And back to back big game for the Jets, obviously. They were on Monday night football last week at home against Buffalo, went down to the wire, lost by three. Now they have to travel on a short week and play a hostile road game on Sunday night football. And this game reminds me a lot of that Buffalo video I did on Monday. You know, last week I mentioned that I thought the Jets made a good teaser play. And I said at plus three or more, the Jets would have some value. It was two and a half when I did the video. But then it dropped down to one over the weekend. And that teaser play did make the difference as the Jets lost by three. I think this is another game in which the teaser is a good investment opportunity. But this time it's fading the Jets. I like the Steelers at plus seven and a half or more on a six-point teaser. Now, first of all, the look-ahead line last week had Pittsburgh favored by a point in this game. Uh, Justin Fields has been benched. It's been announced Russell Wilson's expected to be the new starting quarterback. He's coming back from injury. He hasn't played yet this regular season after competing for the job in the preseason. He was going to be the starter this year, but hasn't been healthy to do so. And it's weird how the market has moved against Pittsburgh, because I actually think this is an upgrade for the Steelers, as their passing attack has just not been there with Justin Fields. Russell Wilson should be a better option now. And the markets actually went higher on the over-under. So it's strange that the over-under went from 37 to 38 and a half, yet the money came in on the Jets, making them a favorite now. But because of that, Pittsburgh qualifies as a home dog. And by the way, Mike Tomlin, 7-3 and three against the spread, 70% the last three seasons as a home underdog as the Steelers head coach. But I think the teaser is the best option. Unless we get that key number of plus three or more here, I would rather tease the lineup six points to seven and a half or more. Now, currently, this is one and a half in most spots. So at seven and a half or more, the Steelers do qualify as an excellent teaser, especially with a low total of 38 and a half and two offenses that have struggled this year. Now, if you're new to sports betting, and by the way, if you are new, feel free to ask comments and questions below. I answer the questions, I read them all, and I reply back. And I know the last couple of weeks we've been talking about teasers, and some of you are new to sports betting. It's quite simple. It's basically a two-team parlay in which you get to move both games six points in your favor, but you got to win both of them. Now, I know what you're thinking. Steve, you say parlays are no good, and in general, parlays are never a good bet unless they're correlated with the side and total in a game, or a two-team NFL teaser is a parlay in which you're moving the points six points each. But in general, teasers aren't good bets bets either unless you cover the key margins of three, four, six, and seven. So in this spot, taking them from one and a half up to seven and a half or more makes an excellent six-point teaser. You'll have to find something else to tie it up with this weekend. Uh, there are some other one to two-point underdogs, one and a half to two-point dogs, or you could tease a favorite in that seven and a half, eight and a half range down below a field goal. The key is you want to get up or down a below three and seven one way or the other. And a two-team six-point teaser, I think the Steelers are an excellent part of that teaser this weekend on Sunday night. Now, once again, if this hits three or more, I think Pittsburgh does have some value as well, straight up on the side. Tomlin, once again, 7-3, 70% the last three years as a home dog. Uh, Justin Fields has struggled, as I mentioned, uh, really could not get the passing offense going. He is a little bit more mobile than Russell Wilson, but Russell Wilson, Super Bowl champ, veteran that really struggled in Denver his first season two years ago with an 84 rating, 16 TDs, 11 interceptions. But last year, he played really well for the Broncos, a 98 rating on the season, 26 touchdowns, only eight interceptions. And his three final years with Seattle, he had a QB rating of 103 or higher. So he still has it. And I do think this is an upgrade of the passing attack. I don't agree with the Steelers now becoming a home dog. Pittsburgh would be the play in this game. And I think the best way to attack it, once again, if you can't get that key number plus three, would be to rather to tease it up to seven and a half or more. But take a look at the Steelers Sunday night football with most likely Russell Wilson at the helm. By the way, Steelers defense has been fantastic this year. And I'm not sure the Jets should be laying points right now against anybody on the road, uh, averaging just 18 and a half points a game. Two good defenses, two suspect offenses, but I do think Pittsburgh has more upside now with Russell Wilson at the helm. Hey, comment below. How are you attacking this game? Side, total, do you like the teaser option? If so, what other games are you tying it up with to make that two-team teaser? Player props. What are your thoughts on the player props? How are you attacking those on Sunday night as well? It's the most bet and watched game of the week. So comment below so we can all learn and earn and win together. And I do read the comments and I reply back. If you're liking these free play videos, I try to do the Sunday and Monday night games every week for you. You know, a lot of times they aren't client plays, but I still try to give you as many of these free weeknight TV games broken down in deep detail. For those of you doing your own handicapping, letting you know which way I'm leaning. Um, if you're finding it useful, comment below and also thumbs up like. We'll keep these free play videos coming. Don't forget to click subscribe and click the bell as well so you never miss an instant alert when these free play videos go up throughout the week. 
and also in my NFL Fade the Public videos ready every weekend here on the channel. Click subscribe and the bell for instant alerts. Hey, speaking of those strong best bets, you know, these free fl free plays are nice. The national TV games are fun to bet. But if you're serious about making money, you need to treat this as a consistent investment approach. And here's how you do it. First of all, you get a long-term package. You set it and forget it. You get that, that cost per play down to about a dollar per play with an all sports, all access one year package. And then you play all the 4% best bets every day that I release to my clients. On average, we have one to two, maybe three plays a day. We're very selective. Eight and one over the past week, entering the weekend, 89%, up over 170 units, ranked number one in all sports this calendar year. And there's still over two and a half months to go in 2024. And you can get it free right now when you sign up for 2025. That's right. By next year's one, one year all access, I'll give you an $200 discount on it. Plus, I'll include the next two and a half months, which is worth several hundred dollars more for free. No promo code needed, but that offer expires after this weekend, so lock it up right now. The sooner you get on board, the more days you get free this year, and you're going to get all of next year as well. Works out to just over a dollar a play for every football, baseball, basketball, college, and pro best bet for the next 365 days and nights, plus the next two and a half months included for free. Wow. This is the all sports investment approach you want to take. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. Now, if you want the rest of the football seasons only, I know this is a football video. Many of you are football players only. Nothing wrong with that. I do have two special promos throughout this weekend, uh, which gets you the rest of college for $2.99 or add the NFL for just $3.99. Those promo codes for the rest of football are on my page as well, along with a daily free play. You know, once again, I'm very selective. So those last cuts I post as free opinions for everybody to help build their bankroll. And also, you can see on my daily best bets, you can see the last 20 recapped on a rolling basis. Click on each best bet for analysis so you can get a feel for how I do things. You know, if you're still building your bankroll, that's why I offer these free play videos with some TV opinions for you. And I also have the recap of all the best bets on my page so you can learn how to become a long-term winner. Also, the daily free play. But most importantly, check out those special offers, including the rest of this year free right now on my page, Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Don't forget to follow me on social media. Get more active on Instagram. Who knew? That's right. Follow me on IG, also Twitter on X, at Steve Merrill. You know the deal. Two R's, one L at Steve Merrill on X and Instagram. And stay tuned here to Wager Talk TV for some more great free content coming up next.